And welcome to another uh, MSCRMAddons.com webinar. Uh, today we're going to be covering activity handling um, in Dynamic CRM Made Easy. Uh, specifically, what we're going to be highlighting is our tool um, activity tools. And uh, one of the things I'd like to note is it's got a complete redesign, which is what we're kind of highlighting today. A couple of the things that's of note is that um, it is a little bit faster. Um, it's uh, now so. Um, and handles a lot of other things. And one of the most significant things that it does here is it also now is available for um, CRM online as well. So um, that's a that's a really big thing, and we're really excited to bring that to you. Um, so basically, like I said, we're covering activity tools, and um, as a gatekeeper for custom interaction activities are key in every CRM system. Uh, we've kind of developed this activity tools to simplify activity handling inside of Dynamic CRM. So uh, why would I want to be using uh, this tool? Um, basically what it's going to do for you is increase productivity by providing tools to handle activities more efficiently. Um, as you guys all know, uh, if you want to look up an activity inside of CRM, you know, you've got to go to, that uh, to the accounts page and go to your activities and open each one up individually. Um, that's pretty inefficient if you're actually just kind of looking for something. Um, you need to get something really quickly. So what Activity Tools does basically for you is it gives you that visualization and it gives you that outlook look and feel <clears throat> inside of CRM here. Um, it also allows you uh, quick and advanced searches of the activities here. And all activity types are supported including custom activities. So um, it's a really nice, nice little feature there. Um, some of the email features are you can define personal email signatures uh, for your individual users, either using HTML or plain text. And you can define default signatures and senders. So like say for example you have a sales team, and if someone is a part of that sales team, um, they can basically, anytime they reply to an email inside of CRM, it's actually going to reply from your sales email. Um, so you can keep all that together in one place. Also good for support groups as well. Um, just a quick overview here. We're going to zoom in here real quickly on the activity preview here. And just a real quick overview, the left pane here, it's marked in red. Um, you get basically a list of your activities, either standard or custom. And it also contains your search capabilities, um, your ability to create new activities, uh, send emails, etc. straight out of there. Uh, the second portion of it is the preview pane here. So as you would go through here, you'll be able to see a preview of the actual email or phone call activity or meeting, et cetera, right here in the pane. Um, it also has a customizable layout that you can, uh, you can define. So you can actually see this in, in many different ways. Um, it will be a little bit more evident as I move into the demo. Um, some of the email features that we do have in this are the signature editor. Um, this is accessible on the CRM user form. Uh, you're able to create those personalized signatures for users or teams, um, either with a plain text or email or, or HTML. Um, and you can define default senders such as a support or a sales team. So say for example here if Michael was a member of my support team and any email that I wanted him to answer would be from support at MSCRMAddons.com, um, I could go ahead and define that. So anytime he would answer that, that's what, would, uh, that's what he would reply from. Moving on, uh, basically deploying this into your CRM system. Um, it's really, really simple to do. Um, activity tools, it can simply be deployed to CRM forms, uh, the social pane actually, um, and added to the nav bar by referencing a, um, uh, just a web resource here. Um, and I'm going to actually do that for you in the demo so you can actually see it being done, how easy it is. So here's an example of it being embedded into a social pane. And again, you can do it from the drop-down so you can actually see my activities or um, you know, uh, basically uh, your activities or your emails, whichever one you choose. I'm going to flip on over here to the demo system and kind of show you what this all looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring up an account. And I'm going to bring up the MSCRM add-ons account. And uh, then it's going to load on up for me. And it uh, just takes a second here to just load. And I've got uh, my activity preview right here. So uh, first part I want to focus on here is the actual, um, the actual left side 
uh, where I can actually look at. I can flip through these really quickly and simply and um, see the preview here as it comes up. So I can flip through these rather, rather quickly. Again, uh, I can do, uh, like say, for a quick search. So, and it, it actually will quickly search for me. Don't have to hit Enter. It's automatically searching as I'm typing so I can get to these. And, um, and quickly go through them. Um, we have two different types of searches here. Basically, we have the quick search, which I just showed, or actually an advanced search, like say, for example, here. Let me just type in here PDF. Um, it will be basically found here. What we're going to do here in the quick search is we're actually going to search here the header. Um, if I do the advanced search here, it's actually going to go through um, each individual email or each individual activity and pull that information out and highlight that for me. Um, one other thing here to show, oh, let me just flip back to my uh, quick search here and close this out so bring it all up. Uh, one other thing of note here is that I can see here, I can quickly like delete activities straight from here, or I can actually see like if it's an email, if it has an attachment um, associated with that email. Um, nice part about it, moving on here, so if I scroll down, um, this is actually uh, it's a load on demand, so this is actually going to continue to load as I continue to scroll uh, for me, so that uh, you know you can actually uh, just kind of keep on scrolling down, and it actually loads as it goes along. Uh, let me just find here quickly an email. Here, some of the things that I can do here with this. Like, see, I'm just going to go ahead and bring up an email. Uh, one nice thing that I can do here is if I have an email activity up here and I need to reply to it, I can either go ahead and click the reply button, reply all, or forward, just like I could in Outlook, and reply to this email. Another nice thing is if I need to bring up any of this information right here, I can do so just by clicking the uh, the individual's uh, look up here and go straight to their uh, either their user or straight to the contact here and pull all that information straight up. Um, also, you're able to go ahead and immediately download attachments just by going ahead and clicking on them. And then you can open that up um, straight out of CRM. So it's a really handy little feature there. Um, again, uh, if, you, if you'd like here, you can also um, create like new activities here. Um, it's very simple and easy to do. And also, as you can see down here, Got a custom, I've got a few custom um, activities here that I can create. So you can do this all on the fly straight from, your, um, straight from the uh, activity preview itself. Um, now moving on, I uh, just want to kind of show you really quickly how to actually embed this um, into your CRM form. So I've got a contact here for Christian Turnick. I've got just basically a standard uh, contact form here. And let's just say we want to go ahead and add that email preview or the, uh, the activity preview here to this uh, particular form. Uh, what I'm going to do is come over here to the form editor, go ahead and open that up. And uh, then what I'm going to do here is I'll come over and I'll go ahead and I will insert a web resource. And the web resource that I want to insert here, uh, basically for me it's really simple, just a star main page. And then star again. Go ahead and search for that. And the first thing that comes up is the actual uh, web resource that I want to. It's called PTM underscore Activity Tools Main Page. So I'll go ahead and select that and give, the, uh, give it a name here. So Activity Tools. And go ahead and let that auto populate. Uh, now, one of the things that you do want to do as you're doing this is uh, pay attention to the formatting. Um, Usually what we do suggest is the number of rows that you actually use for this so you can actually see it and use it is anywhere from 20 to 25. Um, but you can you know, make it as big or as small as you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and select 25 and then go ahead and click OK. So now I've gone ahead and I've got that embedded in this page. And I'll go back and I'll save and publish. And once it's done publishing my customization, come on back and refresh this page here. And as you can see, right here I've got here my activity preview. I can flip through these. Now these are basically, I have every single activity that is related to Christian Turnick here um, from my CRM system. And I can quickly and easily go through those. Um, the other thing that I was talking about here earlier was uh, that we can embed this into a social pane. 
Um, and just want to go ahead and show that really, really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my leads here. And uh, go ahead and just pull up any lead. Any lead is fine. So you can see here I've got my leads page here, and I have my, my social pane here with my activities and my notes. Um, but you know, this is a little bit clunky. You, know, you kind of have to scroll through to look at everything. Sometimes it's just a little preview of everything. Um, but so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually add that um, that uh, activity tool preview here to this uh, to this little section here. So in order to do that, again, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the form editor here uh, for this particular entity here. And uh, this time, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose my form properties. Uh, I'm going to add a form library here, and uh, the simplest way to do it is star on load, on load star. And basically the one that we are looking for here is the ptm underscore activity tools slash js slash on load. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick that one out and add that to my form. Uh, then what I will do here is I'll just go ahead and hit the edit button here. And the first section here is my function here. I just want to go ahead and grab the ptm underscore at add to social pane function out. So I'll just copy that. And uh, then down here, my event handlers, I want to add an event handler. Uh, the library that I'm going to be picking from is ptm underscore activity tools slash js slash onloadjs. And go ahead and stick my function right in there. So um, after I'm done with that, I'll say OK. And then OK again. And then save and publish. Great, so if once I'm done with that, I'll go back here to my, um, uh, my lead here and go ahead and refresh that. And as you can see here, I've got my, uh, my actual activity preview right here, right in my, I can still like, view all my activities. I can flip over to my notes and back to my activities. So um, that's a really handy feature. It's a little bit better because then you can actually also search through um, your activities as well instead of uh, using the, uh, the other method. Uh, one thing that I wanted to quickly go over is just kind of show you guys how we add um, signatures and things of that nature. Um, very simple to do. Uh, just want to flip it on over here. Go to my users. Um, and I'll just pick my single user here. And what we have right here is we have our signature editor. So I'll go ahead and open that up. Here again, this allows me here to define my signature. Just using, I'm just using here some HTML code to do that, or I can just use plain text. Um, again, the other thing to note here is I can define the sender. So when Michael Dore does reply to an email, um, do I want it to go from Michael Dore, or do I want it to here go from maybe the support queue, or uh, you know, I can anything that he sends out. Like say, for example, if you have an, an admin or something like that, and they need to reply for a certain person. Um, you can also set that up as well to reply uh, from different people. So um, I want to thank you for, uh, for joining our uh, webinar today. Uh, feel free to join our upcoming webinars here. You can always find out what's coming up here on, uh, on our website at www.mscrm-addons.com slash support slash webinars. Um, and a couple of resources. You can always find us on the web here at uh, mscrm-addons.com. MSCRM uh, our Help Center is available to you here. It's the same thing, but with support. And um, then we do have an awesome blog that you know, if you're looking for some solutions or something like that, uh, you, can, you can find that at blogs.mscrm-addons.com. Again, our contact information is down here uh, with our phone number, contact information and our different emails. If you have any questions, any support related questions, uh, please go ahead and send that to support at mscrm-addons.com. Um, and any sales related questions you can send to office at mscrm-addons.com. So thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up to questions. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to use the, uh, the chat box down there and ask any questions and I'll answer them um, as they come along.